Hi, my name is Yadrissa and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how I get this brown cut crease glitter eye look. So as you can see, I already did this eye. So I'm going to come on camera and do this eye for you guys. I just didn't want the video to be too But I'm going to be showing you how I got this eye look. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So what I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a Morphe 35M palette. And I'm going to be using Peachy Keen and Talk Dirty. So I'm going to start off with the darkest shade, which is Sparks Fly. To cut my crease and I just don't want that color to, I just don't want to bring that color all the way down light ivory and I'm going to be cutting my crease with that and the brush I'm using is another elf brush and this is a concealer brush so I'm going to start from my inner corner and I'm going to bring this a little past my crease So I like to bring it a little higher than my crease because I do have hooded lids. And when you have hooded lids, it's just basically like you have a little piece of extra skin that falls on top of your eyelid. So in order for you to see the shadows, you have to cut your crease above where your eyelid folds basically, like so. I'm just going to blend that in a little. Now this look is really simple. Uh, I just like to kind of get this line as straight as I would like. So I guess that's good enough. Now I'm going to go to back into the Morphe palette and I'm going to be using that color Talk Dirty which is a light a lighter brown and I'm just gonna add it right here where the end of where I cut the crease up um, I am going to go back in with the darker brown to add it right here just to blend it a little bit more but I'm just trying to eliminate the harsh line so that's why I'm adding this color here. It doesn't look that bright, this light right here. But I forgot to. The lighter shade in this palette is called Light of the Party. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to be just placing that. It's like a beige shade over this concealer. I'm just using it as basically like a setting powder. Just to set that eyeshadow. I'm sorry, set the concealer in place. So just like that. See, that's really simple. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking my RK by Kiss Eye Bling Eyeliner and I'm going to be using the color gold and I'm going to use that to make my gold liner. And I just wanted to add this gold liner because I think that it just gives this look a little pop of color. Pro concealer and I am in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I used to I like to use this to cover um, any dark marks or any pigmentation or just spots left over from when I had um, pimples or anything like that I like to conceal that just so it can blend a little bit more because I don't like that really to shine through my makeup when I put my foundation on 
so that's what i'm just applying that there and i'm going to be taking my beauty blend beauty blender sorry and this is by real techniques and i'm just going to blend those in i like to apply this because i feel like it makes my makeup last a little bit longer because the la girl pro i'm sorry not the la girl pro concealer the maybelline fit me it's really sheer foundation but it is buildable so i do like that about this product but i do like covering any imperfections that i may have underneath my makeup so that's what i'm doing i'm just blending that all into my skin and now i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me turn this brightness down so now I'm finished applying my foundation and blending and if you hear that sound in the background that is just my fan that i have here this is a clip-on fan that i have that i usually clip it to my desk when i'm typically doing my makeup this is the provet stroller clip fan and i got this from amazon it retails for about 16.99 and it has a power button here and the power button you can also use to change the setting there's three settings and um slow medium and fast and as you can see it has a bendable head which is really convenient. You can turn it anywhere, anywhere you want. Or if you have an office job, it's good that you can bring it there too. You can clip it to your desk and have your own little personal fan. It's lightweight, it's portable, it's rechargeable. So that's great, it's a plus. The battery lasts about up until six hours depending on the settings. So this is really good. Um, and like I said, it's convenient, it's affordable. And the name of it is a Provet clip stroller fan and i will leave the link down below in the description box if you guys want to purchase this and it does come with a usb cord like i said it's rechargeable so that's really good it comes with a cord you can recharge it put it in your purse put it all you can leave it at your job i like to use this when i'm applying my lashes because sometimes the glue is really really strong and when you're applying your lashes like just the fumes it makes your eyes water um which bothers my clients sometimes and it's you know it's an inconvenience when you're doing lashes you want to stick it on you don't want the them to be tearing their eyes to be watering any type of way so i like to give the client this and let them hold it or i could just clip it to a dust fan and um, point it direct turn it to their face so if you're interested in that product i will leave it the link down below so you can go and purchase it. now i'm going to be applying my setting power and the setting powder i'm going to be using for my under eye is the sasha buttercup and i like to use that under my eye because it brightens me up i like how it brightens my under eye it makes me look a little bit more awake and just set that foundation in place i don't know if you can see that difference but i definitely can um after i add this powder i am going to be doing a little bit of contour i just wanted to set that under eye really quick um i don't really like to bake um just because um i'm really not used to baking and i do like the look of it but so I'll, I'll bake sometimes but not, not not every time that i do my makeup so now i am just doing a little bit of i don't really need this on my forehead because i do have a tan and Yeah, I really don't need that under there because I have a tan. So what I'm gonna do is take a brush. This is an elf brush and this is a blending eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna just blend that nose contour out. I like to go from up under the brow, excuse me, up under the brow. And then just bring that product all the way down. Just blend it down. 
because I want to get that kind of like snatched look. I'm going to use this brush. I got this brush from Amazon. I think it's really cute. Um, I'm going to use it just to put in my, my contour. Just like that. Do that on both sides. And like I said, I do have a tan. So I really didn't need to apply that to my forehead. But since I did, I'm just going to like blend that out a little bit. Sometimes I like to bring it down under my jaw just a little. Uh, just to bring some of that color back in into my face. Yeah, so I'm just going to do it like that. So I'm going to be doing a neutral lip today. So I'm going to apply RK by Kids Forever Matte. And this is the color Choco Craze. And I'm going to be using the NYX Lingerie. And this is the shade Corset. So I'm going to be using these two lips. So I'm going to start with the Jogger shade. Really hope it's not too dark and just gonna and this does dry matte so I really like that about it because I feel like matte just makes it a little bit more um, lasting as far as long wear. And I'm going to be applying the corset just in the middle. Now, tell me how those colors that look so gorgeous. I like how it's like the ombre effect that it's giving. And I like to, even though this is a matte look, I think I'm going to apply a little bit of gloss on the top just to make the lip pop a little bit more. I really like that look. So I'm just going to add some NK makeup. This is just a clear, regular um, lip gloss you can get from the Beauty Supply. And it's about a dollar, so I'm gonna add that. Just dab that in. Now you see how it makes that pop? Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video and this makeup look that I have created with this soft round cut crease glitter eye look with the ombre lip and i hope to see you in my next video and i'm gonna try to be more consistent with posting so um hope to see you in my next video bye